Your thoughts and beliefs drive every aspect of your life. They can enslave you to a life of mediocrity or they can empower you to strive for the life that you truly want. In this video, I'm gonna dispel five of the most commonly held beliefs about testosterone that are killing your results and hindering your progress. These testosterone myths are being peddled by doctors, trainers, nutritionists, and the mainstream media, but don't let that tempt you. All right, so myth number one, declining testosterone levels are inevitable with age. The truth is that the relationship between age and testosterone levels is the classic case of correlation versus causation. Although older age is correlated with lower testosterone levels, it is not age in itself that is causing the decline. In the longest and most robust studies on this matter, called the Massachusetts Male Aging Study, researchers found that the average American man's testosterone level declined by anywhere from 1.3 to 1.4% every single year from 1984 to 2004. Now, assuming that this trend has maintained its pace rather than sped up, which is more likely, the average 45-year-old American male in 2018 has about 43% lower testosterone levels than the average American 45-year-old male had in 1984. Now that's a huge dip, all right? But the main takeaway from this study is that the generational decline in testosterone levels as we face it today is taking place independently of Age. In another study, Australian scientists brought in 325 men aged between 40 and 97 years old. All of these men had self-reported excellent health and no symptoms to complain of. Blood samples were collected from these men nine times over the next three months. And when researchers looked at the entire sample size, age had no effect on testosterone levels, despite the huge age range. So the main takeaway is that you can maintain optimal levels of testosterone no matter how old you are. All right, so myth number two. Younger guys don't have to worry about suboptimal testosterone levels. Now the same way that older men prescribe their declining testosterone as an inevitable part of aging, Younger guys think that youth is what keeps them immune to it. The truth is that guys in their 20s are suffering from suboptimal testosterone. Take me for example. At the tender age of 24, my total testosterone level came back at 564 nanograms per deciliter. Now, this is a level that's considered well within the normal range, but this was also the level at which I could barely crawl out of bed in the morning, I was skinny fat, and my sex drive was nowhere to be seen. Since making the lifestyle changes to naturally optimize my levels, not only have these symptoms completely disappeared, but I am a more grounded and powerful version of myself. And this brings us to myth number Three. Testosterone replacement therapy is the only way you can increase your testosterone levels. Yeah, uh, all you gotta do is order some of this gel, rub it on your chest and shoulders and your arms, and uh, you're instantly gonna shred fat, uh, build slabs of muscle, and become a sex god. With promises like these, it's no wonder that the amount of testosterone prescriptions have more than tripled since 2011. The problem with TRT though, is that it addresses the symptoms of low testosterone while completely ignoring the root cause of low testosterone. Think about it like this. You've got a pot of boiling water and you want it to cool down. The symptoms approach would involve you dropping ice cubes into that pot to have the water cool down, all right? Again and again, so you keep dropping the ice cubes. But if you take the root cause approach, you would simply turn off the flame that is causing the water to boil. And the proverbial flame that's wreaking havoc on your testosterone, your lifestyle choices. When something as simple as sleeping more can boost your testosterone levels by 60%, is it really wise to opt for testosterone replacement therapy as soon as you realize you've got a problem? I think not. And not only is TRT just a band-aid approach, it is also potentially dangerous, all right? Blood clots and strokes are just some of the many reported side effects. What's more is that once you get started on TRT, you're effectively chained to the treatment 
for the rest of your life. How come? Because with so much exogenous testosterone coming into your body, your body shuts off its own natural production, leaving you dependent on the treatment for the rest of your life. And these are the reasons why at Triple Your T, I only preach the natural route towards testosterone optimization. And this brings us to myth number four. Protein is very important for testosterone. More protein, more muscle, more testosterone? Makes sense, right? Protein is considered the holy grail amongst bodybuilders, gym rats, and fitness enthusiasts who gulp down protein powders in an attempt to speed up their muscle growth. But the truth is that a high protein diet can actually be detrimental to your testosterone. How come? Because given a fixed number of calories, a higher protein intake implies a lower intake of carbs and fats, both of which are more important for your testosterone. In a study published in the Journal of Physiology, subjects on a low carb, high protein diet had 26% lower testosterone levels compared to the subjects on a high carb, low protein diet. Now don't get me wrong, all right? Protein is very important, but I don't want you to get caught up in the hype of eating too much of it. So how much is too much? Well, all the research points to the fact that 0.8 grams of protein intake per pound of body weight is the upper limit at which protein intake affects body composition. And even that number includes a markup, all right? Most studies find that 0.64 grams of protein per pound of body weight is enough. And that brings us to myth number five. High testosterone levels make men violent and aggressive. And this is a myth that could not be further from the truth. In a study of adolescent boys, the ones with the lowest levels of testosterone were found to be the most prone to physical aggression. And these same boys were also failing in their classes and were the most unpopular amongst their peers. And the boys with the highest levels of testosterone, they were actually the ones considered the most socially dominant and most popular amongst their peers. And the researchers from the study concluded that testosterone is associated with social success rather than with physical aggression. And this makes sense given the fact that depression is one of the most common side effects of low testosterone and irritability, anger, hostility, these are all characteristics that are found in men who are depressed. And when these same depressed men are given testosterone treatments, they report significant improvements in their mood. So yeah, that about wraps it up. The five most common myths about testosterone that if you believe may be hindering your results. Stop using age as an excuse. Don't be tempted by the quick fix. Stop chugging all that protein powder and no, testosterone will not make you angry, all right? And that wraps it up for this video and I'll see you soon.